time. Evening, Davis. How you doing, Mr. Novak? Redskins beat the Ravens yesterday. Lost 50 bucks to Dr. Ramsey. Word of advice. Never bet against a mathematician. <laughs> It's been a security breach. Detention cell B. No back. The cells are empty, sir. All three are empty. They've escaped. Let's secure the building. Yes, sir. Hey, help them. Yes, sir. Molly, we got a serious problem down here. Novak attacked Adams and took his pass card. His weapon, too. He's released Jane, Glow, and Sanford. All right, the, the building's been sealed, and we've got snipers covering every exit point. They won't get far. Captain, what's going on? We've got two men down, badly wounded. There's no sign of them. It's like they disappeared. These buildings use thermal sensors to manage climate control, isn't that right? About a dozen on every floor. Yeah, according to Fenway, the alien metabolism is a lot higher than ours. They give off more heat. You want to look for temperature spikes? Yeah, let's check every level. There. Right there. Temperature jumped by 12%. Kavanaugh, they're on level 8 Eastern Junction. They're heading upward. Level 9, 10. They're in the elevator. Status. Kavanaugh. Clear. Clear. All clear. All the prisoners are accounted for. Looks like they were headed toward the med lab. Get them back in their cells. Med lab. Why go there? To get their fellow infectees. We need to know how this happened. I can tell you one thing. It won't happen again. It's time we move these people out of here. Sergeant Adams, your breach in security procedures nearly resulted in the escape of three infected prisoners. Lucky for you, they're back in their cells, otherwise I'd have you court-martialed. I followed standard operating procedure to the letter, sir. To the letter? You tried to feed a prisoner without an additional guard present. What were you thinking? Davis was present, sir. Davis doesn't come on until 2200. I saw him. I spoke to him. He's at home, Adams. I don't understand. Adams? Permission to report to med lab, sir. Get some help in here. Get Dr. Fenway now. Yes, sir. Adams has been infected. How is that possible? I don't know yet, but somehow his DNA is being modified into our alien triple helix. That accounts for his unusual symptoms. He has been around the infected prisoners every day. Maybe a prolonged exposure has something to do with this. Doubtful. I've logged more hours around them than anyone else, and I'm not infected. Trust me, this contagion's not airborne. And Adams was just attacked by Novak. Maybe it happened then. Maybe. I want you to test all the guards who work in that detention block. Make sure he's the only one. And I want every scrap of information we have on him. He's asking a lot of questions. Ordinarily, I like to tell the patient what he's facing, but then that would be a violation of your sacred protocols. Save your sarcasm, doctor. I happen to agree. He deserves to know the truth. I'll tell him myself. In the meantime, no one enters or exits this building until we have tested every guard. 
All the prisoners have been secured, Mr. Whitaker. But still no idea how this Sergeant Adams was exposed. No, but uh, none of the other security guards have tested positive for infection. Well, thank God for that. Have you ever given any thought to moving all these prisoners to a more secure location? That's the plan. Uh, housing them at Threshold was only a stopgap measure until the tank was complete. Mm -hmm. It's an underground facility in the West Virginia mountains. Highly secure. Very good. How long until they're all out of here? Well, Gunnison and Drennan have to be kept in the med lab. Uh, in his comatose state, Gunnison may not survive the journey. And Dr. Fenway wants to keep studying the Drennan baby. So that leaves five infectees, and I've allotted a day for each. Moving them one at a time? Different routes, different times. Each to be chosen within an hour of departure. Have you considered moving them all at once? I mean, five trips means five chances of something going wrong. Well, if something were to go wrong, then we would only have one infectee to deal with. I agree. These infectees are extremely dangerous. All the more reason to expedite this. Sir, you do know what they're capable of. After last night's little fiasco, do you really want to lecture me on the risk of underestimating our prisoners? We're less than eight blocks from the White House here. If they'd escaped, you still have two infected crewmen from the Bighorn out there, Captain Manning and Crewman Pena. And you know they're planning something. Hell, they could be in DC right now. You should be using your resources to capture them, not chauffeuring inmates one at a time. I'm not sure it's your place to tell me how I should be doing things. Really? Well, the last time I checked, the president made me national security advisor. This isn't about rank. No, it's about tactics. And I've spent a great deal of time thinking about how to deal with these infectees. Listen, Molly, you've written a brilliant plan. Nobody's disputing that. But even you've got to admit it's not perfect. So move them all at once, and we'll do it by tomorrow night. We all agreed? Tomorrow night? That's when the trucks hit the road. How are those new restraints coming along? Great. Just great, but I thought I had two more weeks to finish them. Can you have five pairs by tomorrow night? Do I have a choice? Not really. It'll be close, but I think we can do it. Lucas. Then the answer's yes. Dr. Caffrey wants you to calculate a routing plan for the convoy. All right. I'll factor in traffic patterns, travel time, road and weather conditions. I'll find the path of least resistance. Give the plan to Kavanaugh. He's in charge of transport. Any word on how Adams got infected? Not yet. You two are friendly, right? Well, before he was assigned to watch the prisoners, he used to guard my hotel room. We'd stay up late at night, playing poker. Very unwise on his part, but... He's a good guy. How did I get it? I'm not sure. So this triple helix is inside my body right now? I'm afraid so. And it's rewriting my DNA, turning me into a monster. Well, we don't know the final result of but these I'm mutations. But I'm gonna end up like one of those people downstairs. And there's nothing you can do to stop it? I'm working on a vaccine. So the answer is no. We're going to do our best to help you. Thanks for telling me the truth. Whatever happens to me, Dr. Caffrey, I want you to know I'm proud to be a part of the fight. Maybe you can still help. What do you mean? We've got you hooked up to everything but the coffee machine, so we have all the medical data we need. But we can't get inside your head. If you could describe what's happening to you, it would give us insight to the bioforming process. Blow by blow of my final days as a human, huh? Everything we learn from you can teach us how to fight it. Yeah, okay. I'll do it. But I want one thing in return. What's that? If you can't save me, if I turn into one of those things, then I want you to kill me. It's not going to come to that, Mr. Adams. Tell that to the people downstairs. I don't know if you understand what you're asking. I watched them, you know, every day. They're not human anymore. And I want to die human. I know exactly what I'm asking. Do we have a deal? Are you insane? I can't believe you'd even consider this. This information could save millions of lives. 
It's what he wants. I'm willing to make that deal. What, his life doesn't mean anything? Of course it does. But we should all have the right to choose our own fate. Uh, tell that to the Supreme Court. Don't give me a break. Since when does Nigel Fenway have respect for the law? Look, you brought me here to save lives, not to take them. If it actually comes to it, the life we take won't be human. What if I find a cure two months from now? How would you feel then? That'll be my problem to deal with. If you really want to save his life, I suggest you stop questioning my authority and get back to work. I guess what surprises me is what an easy decision this is for you. You're a smart man. And you know damn well nothing about this is easy for me. Good morning, Ms. Caffrey. Good morning. You're working kind of early, aren't you, Carl? My wife had the baby last night. Little boy. Yeah, I'm just squeezing up my rounds and it's right back to the hospital. Wow. Congratulations. Thanks. This goes in the den, right? Uh, yeah, right by the bookcase. That's six pounds, seven ounces. Looks just like me. We're hoping he grows out of it. Have you picked a name yet? Well, I wanted to name him after me, but my wife thinks that Carl Jr. sounds like that burger place. Oh. So, uh, what did you decide on? Noah. It's a cute name. What are you doing here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, what is this? There were two men in a parked car outside. What did you do to them? What are you talking about? What did you do to them? I don't know anything about two men. Just put the gun down, okay? Stay back. Miss Caffrey, please. Stay back. I don't want to hurt you, Molly. Who are you? There's someone who wants to see you. Get down on the floor. Now! The agents surveilling your house were found unconscious near their car. They were badly beaten, but they'll be okay. I knew they wouldn't have left their post without calling me. This guy's a pretty good moves for a water guy. Did you say we wanted to take him? No. Dr. Caffrey, I just ran the DNA test. This man was not infected. What? He was killed instantly by the stun shell. Th that can't be. Is there a chance this has no connection to Threshold? I mean, maybe this is nothing more than just a assault or attempted robbery. Run his DNA through CODIS. Maybe he's got a record. I mean, if he wasn't one of them, then who was he? I always get nervous around this much voltage. Well, relax. These restraints are harmless unless you break them apart. I doubt you're strong enough to do that. 200 amps. You sure that'll be enough? Yeah, that's what we pack in our stun shells. Any of the prisoners try to break free during transport, the charge will kick in and zap down for the count. Damn. I burned myself. And you gotta learn to slow down, all right? Just pace yourself. Strange advice coming from you. What's that supposed to mean? Lab 101C. What? You used to dread going in that room. Fluid dynamics was your worst subject in grad school. You rushed through every experiment, remember? What's your point? Threshold's no different. You're terrified of failing. Only thing is now there's a lot more at stake than a failing grade. You know, I got through that class and I'll get through this. You sure? You might want to have someone look at that burn. Having a headache again. Is it the same as before? No. Pain's duller, I guess. Moving up my spine to the back of my head. Your vital signs are stable. How's he doing? Surprisingly lucid. 
I always assumed that the mental faculties were the first to go, but he's proving me wrong. The travel time to the holding facility is three hours and 42 minutes. I figured you'd want to adjust the sedative dosage to the prisoners. Yeah, thanks. Can I talk to him? I'd rather you didn't. Come on, Nigel. Whatever happened to visiting hours? The guy's a friend of mine. All right, be brief. I hope you're not here for your 50 bucks. Well, if you think all of this is going to get you out of it, you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> Redskins, Jets, this weekend, double or nothing. You're on. I hear they're moving those prisoners from downstairs because the mistake I made. It's not your fault. You were sick. Is that why you made that ridiculous deal with Caffrey to punish yourself? I don't want to become one of them, Ramsey. You know me, I'm not the alien type. What if Fenway finds a cure? What if he doesn't? Seriously, what would you do in my position? Dr. Fenway might be a pain in the ass, but he's a brilliant, brilliant doctor, and he will find a way. Don't let that go to your head, Nigel. Seriously, man, come on. You better be damn sure about this, because it's kind of a permanent decision. And some of us would like to see you stick around. Visiting hours are over, Ramsey. You know what? Should I? By all means. Hey, Nigel! <laughs> <laughs> We got an ID on your water delivery man. His real name is Dennis Lundy. He served in the Navy SEAL Special Elite Recon Unit, munitions expert. Explains how he got the drop on our agents. In 1998, he was court-martialed and dishonorably discharged for assaulting a superior officer, Alex Manning. Our big horn, Captain. Why would this guy be running errands for Manning, then? Well, most likely money. These special ops guys get out pretty young, and some of them like to put their skills to use by becoming guns for hire, mercenaries. Well, we know Manning's been receiving large sums of cash to a Cayman Island account. Maybe he's using it to build an elite force of his own. Hey, guys. Sorry to interrupt. The restraints are ready. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Prisoners will each receive a powerful sedative courtesy of Dr. Fenway. They'll be unconscious for approximately nine hours. There's plenty of time to get them through the holding facility. Now, both vehicles are armor-plated with bulletproof windows and self-sealing tires. Prisoners will travel in the rear vehicle. The front will provide cover and support. Your travel route has been programmed into a GPS tracking system. We'll be watching you every step of the way. Apache helicopters have been stationed at strategic locations. At the first sign of trouble, we'll have air support within five minutes. You'll move out at 2340. You'll arrive at the holding facility well before dawn. Good luck, gentlemen. Transport has left threshold two vehicles heavily armed. We'll intercept them as planned. Get your men ready. We leave in five minutes. What else are you experiencing? Any other sensations or thoughts? I keep having these memories. Things I haven't thought about in years. Other things I shouldn't remember at all. I can remember walking for the first time. <sighs> Took three steps and fell into my sister's arms. <sighs> I can hear my parents clapping. How does it feel when you're remembering these things? Does it bring up any specific emotions? It's kind of empty. Like it's me, but I'm not connected to it. What about the dreams? more vivid, but they don't scare me as much. Guess I'm getting used to them. Still the glass forest? When I'm there, it feels familiar. More like a memory. Like you're remembering a place you haven't been to yet? Yeah. I 
does that keep happening? Your body's fighting the infection. Molly? Why you here? Can I get something to eat? You just ate 20 minutes ago. No, but I'm... I'm so hungry. It'll only feed the bioforming process. Just try to rest, all right? I'll bring you a snack in an hour. He said his dreams felt familiar. And I know exactly what he means. I mean, what if they aren't just dreams? What if they're someone else's memories that have been planted in our heads? Wait a minute. During his last brain scan, Adam's frontal lobes lit up like a Christmas tree. New memories formed faster than he could recall them. Not only his own, but possibly someone else's. The question is, why? To what end? So we'll be ready. When the world changes, it'll feel more like home. We're 17 minutes ahead of schedule. You always had a lead foot. Would you like me to slow down, sir? No, you're doing fine. Look familiar, sir. Yosemite. <laughs> now there's a trip I'd rather forget. Look on the bright side. You only broke one leg. Yeah. Yeah, we should go back there. Actually, finish that climb. What's going on? Why'd you stop? Vehicle approaching from the rear. Yeah, they're boxing us in. It's an ambush! We've been ambushed. Two vehicles have us trapped inside the tunnel. Is it Manning? Unknown, but that's a pretty good guess. Air support's on the way. She's not with the others. They've got air support on the way. We don't have much time. Take him out. Tango 1, this is Lima 04. We are approaching your position. Roger that. One of the restraints has been broken. It's Novak. What about the charge? It didn't go off. Number three's been broken. Sanford. Kavanaugh, they're waking up. The prisoners are breaking free. Roger, Tango 1. Breaking on pursuit. Standing by. It was Manning. He had at least 
five men with them. Looks like air support drove them off. W what about the prisoners? They've all been resedated. How long until you get moving again? It'll take a few minutes to secure the prisoners. Any casualties? Three wounded, one missing. Who's missing? Agent Hayes. Manning's got him. But we also captured one of theirs. All right, let us know when you're rolling again. Copy that. Only a handful of people knew about this transport. How in the hell did Manning find out about it? He started delivering my water about three weeks ago. Well, we have to assume this bug's picked up every conversation you've had since then. I remember talking about the transport at least twice. Anything else? Enough. God knows what Manning's found out about Threshold. Can't believe this happened. I'll review our surveillance tapes of my house and go through every phone call. Everyone has been delivered safely to the new facility. What about the attackers? Did you get anything out of the one that we captured? No, he's still unconscious. He did test negative for infection. We're surmising that Captain Manning has been hiring human mercenaries. Why wouldn't he just infect them? Wouldn't that work to his advantage? He, he may not have the ability, or maybe he's intentionally using people who can pass our blood tests. I gotta tell you, people, this could have gone a whole lot better. We almost lost all of them. To be fair, sir, that wouldn't have been a risk if we'd stuck to the original plan about moving them one at a time. Oh, you really think that's the problem? Or is it the person who's in charge of keeping America safe was bested by a water delivery man? Now you hold on, there's okay, no way JT. she could've... He's right. I screwed up. But let's focus on the problem at hand, sir. Manning's created the alien equivalent of a terrorist cell. And he's gathering the other infectees. We've got to find him before he plans another attack. I'd like to interrogate the man we have in custody. I need to search myself. Get started. If you need me, I'll be in my office sleeping for the next two hours. Now, we've got plenty of other agents who can find Manning. I want you to oversee the new facility for the next few days. Make sure everything's running smoothly, all right? Sir, one of my men has just been captured. We will find him, Mr. Cavanaugh. I'm countermanding Whitaker's orders. You can't interrogate the prisoner. Thank you. I know how important Agent Hayes is to you. Go find your brother. I've run diagnostics on every component. Those restraints should have fired. I don't understand. I need answers, Lucas. Should have fired isn't going to cut it. I, know, I, just, I just need some time to figure it out. You let me know. It's okay, we'll get this. Just leave me alone, all right? I gotta think. Where's Manning? You're not in the mood to talk, huh? Would you like to meet some other people who didn't like to talk? Now I'm gonna ask you again. Where's Manning? This one's my favorite. Don't make me show you that last one. It always makes me sick. What did you do to them? Well, you're about 10 seconds away from finding out. Unless you decide to answer my question. Manning's in an old cannery at the south end of the Potomac River. I'd like to deploy full tactical squad. Anything you need. Actually, there is. About Hayes, me and my brother. I'd appreciate it if you kept that between us. Classified information. Thank you. He's coming close to the point of no return. His blood cells are saturated with triple helix. But he's still human? He's fighting. How long? Five hours, six tops. 
I want you to prepare a syringe of phenobarbital. You're really gonna do this? I made him a promise. Well, I didn't. You kill him. Aren't you on the clock? Uh, wow, well, I, I knew I should have jammed this little tracking chip you guys put in us. Ah, uh, you did. Oh. Third bar I've been to. Same here. I need you to reopen Manning's financials. Still a lot of money unaccounted for. If you can find out where it was spent, it might give us an idea of what he's been up to. Do you like me? What? I mean... Am I just facts and figures to you, an astonishing brain, or do you sometimes look at me and think, boy, if I wasn't so busy being a tight ass, I could have some serious sex with that man? If I say yes, will you come back to the office? I heard about Adams. Guess he's technically one of them now. Yeah. Sorry. I know it was your friend. No, well, I bet you could use this right now. No, thanks. Really? Then why, why, why did you come here? To get you. You could have sent any one of your goons down here to get me, but you, the head of Threshold herself, came. You want to know why? Because I am a great excuse to be in a bar right now. Told me about your deal. Yeah. Tough spot. I just wonder if I made a promise I can't keep. Well, you want my opinion? Don't let Fenway rattle you. You know, if I ever got infected, do not hesitate. Hmm. Not me. If I ever turn, get as much information out of me as you can and lock me up. A chance we'll find a cure. I guess the beauty of still being human beings is we get to decide our own fates. Right. So the problem wasn't in the design of the restraints. So where was it? Well, the units were connected to the truck's power supply through a faulty relay. So when the charge came through, it blew right out. Yeah, who installed the relay? Uh, I don't like the lay of the blame. Lucas, who installed it? Roberts. Okay, but he's a good guy. He's smart. He just doesn't do well under pressure. Wait a minute. Hold on. Stop. Who's Roberts? My assistant, Jonathan Roberts. He was helping me on this. Jonathan Roberts? Yeah, the guy sitting right over there. Lucas, there's no one here. What do you mean? He's sitting right there. Roberts. We're alone, Lucas. There, there's no Roberts. Of course there is. I can prove it to you. He filed an injury report yesterday. He burned himself with a soldering iron. Lucas, you filed that report. What? I've been working with this guy for three weeks. You're trying to tell me he's a figment of my imagination. No one named Jonathan Roberts works in this building. You see him right now? What's going on? You didn't hear that? Oh, my God. Don't listen to him, Lucas. They're trying to confuse you. Shut up! Come on, let's get you to the med lab. No, 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 Fenway. I'm fine. I'm just a little overworked. They're going to lock you up. Don't let them. Come with me, son. No, get the hell away from me. I'd rather not call security.
This should be done by a friend. Molly. Still only 50. We searched the cannery and just missed Manning and his men. Found some food supply and a few weapons. They were definitely there within the last few days. Keep the area under surveillance in case he comes back. We also discovered three bodies. All male, all drained of blood. Fenway's got them up at the morgue. He said that they'd been infected. Who were they? We don't know yet. And what about Agent Hayes? I found his bloodied uniform. And I had the lab do a DNA test. He's infected, too. Oh, Lord. I'd like to assign a couple of agents to keep an eye on my family, just in case he comes after them. By all means, and if there's anything else I can do. I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. As far as I'm concerned, he's just another infectee. And when I find him, I will treat him as such. Kevin, uh, I'm hoping for a better outcome. I'll keep searching. Hey. Hey. How you feeling? Much better. Thanks. Fenway gave me something to help me relax. I feel like a complete idiot. I guess with the lack of sleep and the workload, I just kind of bugged out. But I'm fine now. I'm not fine, am I? I just spoke with Dr. Fenway. You say the waves are off the chart. Something's happening in your brainstem. And the hallucinations may be a sign that your condition is getting worse. What condition? What, because I watched the videotape of the alien signal? You and Kavanaugh saw it too. You're not seeing things. For some reason, you're different. Fenway's trying to find out why. Could this have something to do with Adams? Didn't, didn't he hallucinate too? Am I infected? No, you're... DNA hasn't changed. That's a relief. I wish we could leave it at that. I'm a liability. You are a valued member of the team, but you're ill and we are gonna find out why. Until we do, we have to relieve you of your duties and confine you to the med lab. Are these really necessary? Just a precaution. You're treating me like I'm an infectee, and I'm not. You said I'm not. We'll get you out of here as soon as we can. You didn't know what you said to Adams? I'm sorry. That was unfair. I, I know you're doing everything that you can. Can I get you anything? Another one of those sedatives would be nice. I may take one myself. I'm so sorry, Dr. Caffrey. I let you down. I failed. I didn't fail, Lucas. This is just a little setback. Will you do me a favor? Could you just make sure Rachel's okay? Oh my God, if I pass this on to her. We'll, we'll check on her right away. What will you tell her? About me? About what's happened? How about a bad case of the flu? That sounds perfect.
I've completed Adam's postmortem. He's just given our most important piece of information, how he got infected. And? I found malformations in his intestinal lining. The mutation process initiated in the digestive tract. He was infected through something he ate. They've come to the food supply. Nothing you can do to stop it? I'm working on a vaccine. So the answer is no. We're gonna do our best to help you. Thanks for telling me the truth. Whatever happens to me, Dr. Caffrey, I want you to know I'm proud to be a part of the fight. Maybe you can still help. What do you mean? We've got you hooked up to everything but the coffee machine, so we have all the medical data we need. But we can't get inside your head. If you could describe what's happening to you, it would give us insight into the bioforming process. Blow by blow of my final days as a human, huh? Everything we learn from you can teach us how to fight it. Yeah, okay. I'll do it. But I want one thing in return. What's that? If you can't save me, if I turn into one of those things, then I want you to kill me. It's not going to come to that, Mr. Adams. Tell that to the people downstairs. I don't know if you understand what you're asking. I watched them, you know, every day. They're not human anymore. And I want to die human. I know exactly what I'm asking. Do we have a deal? Are you insane? I can't believe you'd even consider this. This information could save millions of lives. It's what he wants. I'm willing to make that deal. What, his life doesn't mean anything? Of course it does. But we should all have the right to choose our own fate. Uh, tell that to the Supreme Court. Don't give me a break. Since when does Nigel Fenway have respect for the law? Look, you brought me here to save lives, not to take them. If it actually comes to it? The life we take won't be human. What if I find a cure two months from now? How would you feel then? That'll be my problem to deal with. If you really want to save his life, I suggest you stop questioning my authority and get back to work. I guess what surprises me is what an easy decision this is for you. You're a smart man. And you know damn well nothing about this is easy for me. Med lab. Why go there? To get their fellow infectees. We need to know how this happened. I can tell you one thing. It won't happen again. It's time we move these people out of here. Sergeant Adams, your breach in security procedures nearly resulted in the escape of three infected prisoners. Lucky for you, they're back in their cells, otherwise I'd have you court-martialed. I followed standard operating procedure to the letter, sir. To the letter? You tried to feed a prisoner without an additional guard present. What were you thinking? Davis was present, sir. Davis doesn't come on until 2200. I saw him. I spoke to him. He's at home, Adams. I don't understand. Adams? Permission to report to Med Lab, sir. 
Get some help in here. Get Dr. Fenway now. Yes, sir. Adams has been infected. How is that possible? I don't know yet, but somehow his DNA is being modified into our alien triple helix. That accounts for his unusual symptoms. He has been around the infected prisoners every day. Maybe a prolonged exposure has something to do with this. Doubtful. I've logged more hours around them than anyone else, and I'm not infected. Trust me, this contagion's not airborne. When Adams was just attacked by Novak. Maybe it happened then. Maybe. I want you to test all the guards who work in that detention block. Make sure he's the only one. And I want every scrap of information we have on him. He's asking a lot of questions. Ordinarily, I like to tell the patient what he's facing, but then that would be a violation of your sacred protocols. Save your sarcasm, doctor. I happen to agree. He deserves to know the truth. I'll tell him myself. In the meantime, no one enters or exits this building until we have tested every guard. All the prisoners have been secured, Mr. Whitaker. But still no idea how this Sergeant Adams was exposed. No, but uh, none of the other security guards have tested positive for infection. Well, thank God for that. Have you ever given any thought to moving all these prisoners to a more secure location? That's the plan. Uh, housing them at Threshold was only a stopgap measure until the tank was complete. Mm -hmm. It's an underground facility in the West Virginia mountains. Highly secure. Very good. Time. Evening, Davis. How you doing, Mr. Novak? Redskins beat the Ravens yesterday. Lost 50 bucks to Dr. Ramsey. Word of advice. Never bet against a mathematician. <laughs> It's been a security breach. Detention cell B. Novak. The cells are empty, sir. All three are empty. They've escaped. Let's secure the building. Yes, sir. Hey, help him. Yes, sir. Molly, we got a serious problem down here. Novak attacked Adams and took his pass card. His weapon, too. He's released Jane, Glow, and Sanford. All right, the, the building's been sealed, and we've got snipers covering every exit point. They won't get far. Kavanaugh, what's going on? We've got two men down, badly wounded. There's no sign of them. It's like they disappeared. These buildings use thermal sensors to manage climate control, isn't that right? About a dozen on every floor. Yeah, according to Fenway, the alien metabolism is a lot higher than ours. They give off more heat. You want to look for temperature spikes? Yeah, let's check every level. There. Right there. Temperature jumped by 12%. Kavanaugh, they're on level 8 Eastern Junction. They're heading upward. Level 9, 10. They're in the elevator. Status. Kavanaugh. Clear. Clear. All clear. All the prisoners are accounted for. Looks like they were headed toward the med lab. I get them back in this cell. How long until they're all out of here? Well, Gunnison and Drennan have to be kept in the med lab. Uh, in his comatose state, Gunnison may not survive the journey. And Dr. Fenway wants to keep studying the Drennan baby. So that leaves five infectees, and I've allotted a day for each. Moving them one at a time different routes, different times, each to be chosen within an hour of departure. Have you considered moving them all at once? I mean, five trips means five chances of something going wrong. Well, if something were to go wrong, then we would only have one infectee to deal with. Yeah, I agree. These infectees are extremely dangerous. All the more reason to expedite this. Sir, 
You do know what they're capable of. After last night's little fiasco, do you really want to lecture me on the risk of underestimating our prisoners? We're less than eight blocks from the White House here. If they'd escaped, you still have two infected crewmen from the Bighorn out there, Captain Manning and Crewman Pena. And you know they're planning something. Hell, they could be in D.C. right now. You should be using your resources to capture them, not chauffeuring inmates one at a time. I'm not sure it's your place to tell me how I should be doing things. Really? Well, last time I checked, the president made me national security advisor. This isn't about rank. No, it's about tactics. And I've spent a great deal of time thinking about how to deal with these infectees. Listen, Molly, you've written a brilliant plan. Nobody's disputing that. But even you've got to admit it's not perfect. So move them all at once, and we'll do it by tomorrow night. We all agreed? Tomorrow night? That's when the trucks hit the road. How are those new restraints coming along? Great, just great, but I thought I had two more weeks to finish them. Can you have five pairs by tomorrow night? Do I have a choice? Not really. It'll be close, but I think we can do it. Lucas. Then the answer's yes. Dr. Caffrey wants you to calculate a routing plan for the convoy. All right, I'll factor in traffic patterns, travel time, road and weather conditions. I'll find the path of least resistance. Give the plan to Kavanaugh. He's in charge of transport. Any word on how Adams got infected? Not yet. You two were friendly, right? Well, before he was assigned to watch the prisoners, he used to guard my hotel room. We'd stay up late at night, playing poker. Very unwise on his part, but... He's a good guy. How did I get it? I'm not sure. So this triple helix is inside my body right now? I'm afraid so. And it's rewriting my DNA, turning me into a monster. But we don't know the final result of but these I'm mutations. But I'm gonna end up like one of those people downstairs. Good morning, Ms. Caffrey. Good morning. You're working kind of early, aren't you, Carl? My wife had the baby last night. Little boy. Yeah, I'm just squeezing up my rounds and it's right back to the hospital. Wow. Congratulations. Thanks. This goes in the den, right? Oh, uh, yeah, right by the bookcase. That's six pounds, seven ounces. Looks just like me. We're hoping he grows out of it. Have you picked a name yet? Well, I wanted to name him after me, but my wife thinks that Carl Jr. sounds like that burger place. Oh. So, uh, what did you decide on? Noah. It's a cute name. What are you doing here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, what is this? There were two men in a parked car outside. What did you do to them? What are you talking about? What did you do to them? I don't know anything about two men. Just put the gun down, okay? Stay back. Miss Caffrey, please. Stay back. I don't want to hurt you, Molly. Who are you? There's someone who wants to see you. Get down on the floor. Now! The agents surveilling your house were found unconscious near their car. They were badly beaten, but they'll be okay. Well, I knew they wouldn't have left their post without calling me. This guy's a pretty good move for a water guy. Did you say we wanted to take him? No. Dr. Caffrey, I just ran the DNA test. This man was not infected. What? He was killed instantly by the stun shell. Th that can't be. Is there a chance this has no connection to the threshold? I mean, maybe this is nothing more than just a... Assault or attempted robbery. Run his DNA through CODIS. Maybe he's got a record. I mean, if he wasn't one of them, then who was he? I always get nervous around this much voltage. Well, relax. These restraints are harmless unless you break them apart. And I doubt you're strong enough to do that. 200 amps. You sure that'll be enough? Yeah. That's what we pack in our stun shells. 